So we have a brand new segment for you this weekend. It's going to be all about law enforcement and making your house safer. Corporal Zach Scott of the Franklin County Sheriff's Office is joining us live this morning and is showing all of us several different ways and different types of locks that you can install in your own home. Good morning, Corporal. Good morning. Good morning, Mindy. Good morning, Marshall. Tell us how, uh, how different locks provide different kinds of safety. Well, um, this topic came up with the uh, safety locks only because we've had, uh, as you know, uh, a few uh, home invasions, aggravated burglaries in the area. And so uh, I thought it would be a good idea if I could show just some simple modifications of these locks of how you can improve these locks and make them a little bit better working for you. This is uh, basically, this is uh, in, in surface. It's uh, mounted inside the door. As you can see here, it comes out. This is a double-sided deadbolt. It means you got to use a key on both sides. Now that can create a fire hazard at times, so you need to know where that key is at all times. Now th these locks here, these are surface mount locks. This is your basic deadbolt. This, they call this a night latch, and it's because if you go out the door and you let it close behind you, you get locked out. This here is called a jimmy lock. Uh, it's a single-sided deadbolt, and over here is the double-sided deadbolt, which means again, you have to know where your key is. And what it does is if a bad guy breaks into your house, he doesn't have a key, he can't get out the door. He, if he broke into a window or something like that, he's got to go back out that same door. So now each one of these work to a degree pretty decently. But one inherent problem they do have is they, they use these type of screws when I suggest that we use this type of screw. Obviously, wow. this is not even an inch. Yeah, this a is a difference. three inch. Now, it's not necessarily using it on the actual locks itself, but you want to start using it on the striker plates. These surface mounts, these are these stri striker plates on these, on the sides here. They're just put on the sides for displays. But on these here, which is on my front door, which is obviously this one right here, and let's go over to the door here. This is your striker plate area, right here. This is your striker plate. Now, that's what you want to try to reinforce to let the door, I'm sorry, let the actual lock work a little bit better. And as you can see, this is going to go through basically your trim. Mm -hmm. And if we use one of these screws, we're going to go past the trim and we're going to grab a hold of the actual frame. And that's going to give the door, the door locks, an opportunity to work a little bit better. So, Corporal, and you're saying that the, the strike plate is almost as, as or more important than the lock itself. It can be. Now, there's, there's other, obviously we've only got a short amount of time, but there are other reasons or other problems with locks. But if you use, the, if you use these screws, uh, you're going to give the, the uh, locks a better chance to work. Now, over the years of law enforcement, I have encountered a better type lock that I like. And I think uh, that I, once I show you this lock, uh, when we come back, uh, you may agree that uh, it's a pretty good lock because of how it works. And I'll explain to you how to install it real quick. Right. That is really yeah. useful information. Who would have even thought to use a larger screw? And that that would make such a big difference. Yeah. yeah. Great information, Corporal. Thank you very much. And we will hear from you again when you show us that different lock coming up in our next half hour. Thanks, Corporal. Okay. Appreciate it. Well, for the first time ever, and I'll... We heard from him in the first half hour. We're going to hear from him again. Corporal Scott from the Franklin County Sheriff's Office has plenty of law enforcement experience and is really trying to keep you safe this morning. He has a very simple lock that actually does wonders. Now, this is the one that's your favorite. Is this the one on your own house? It is one on my own house. Uh, you guys have probably uh, seen it on hotel doors. Uh, it's just basically a hotel lock. Uh, I like to call it like a slip lock or a slider lock. And this is actually the lock here. Uh, I did plan on trying to install it here with you guys today, but it takes about 10 minutes. My dad and I worked on it yesterday for about 10 minutes. It's very simple to install. It's basically by taping these two brackets here. You want to make sure that these brackets are about 3 8 inch apart, and you want to make sure you use a, uh, obviously I had to screw these in, and you want to make sure that you use a pilot screw when you're going through this door. Now, again, just like on the other locks, what's a very important feature again is the screws on these locks. This screw here is the one they give us with this unit. Mm -hmm. I don't say use this screw. I suggest you use this screw and this screw. Now, with these two screws I have here, this one will go on this side and this one will go on that side. You want to make sure that you don't get too long a screw that you would actually penetrate the door and go through the door. That wouldn't be a good thing. But you also want to make sure that you use this longer screw so that you have more wood and you're biting more into the actual frame of the door. Now, why is this my favorite lock? Well, uh, during my years of working SWAT, we've encountered it a few times, and you have to use a little extra force with this door because of what I call the bounce factor. 
Every time this takes a force, it, it starts bouncing, bouncing, and bouncing. Now, what happens with this, when the bad guy comes to your door, he's more focused in this area here. So when he kicks the door and tries to apply force, he's eventually going to defeat this lock only because it's stationary. This up here starts bouncing. It's not stationary. Now, here's the other good feature about this. You guys can't hear it, but every time this uh, door opens up, my alarms are chiming. So the bad guy's on the outside. He's kicked the door. He hasn't made entry into the door. The alarm now is going off. It's signaling for the cops to come his way. He's still on the outside of the house. He's still out there trying to make a decision. Do I need to go in here or going off? So at that point, he's got to make a decision. Do I want to continue making all kinds of noise? Do I want to continue uh, being out front where people can see me? Or do I need to get out of here? Right. Hey, Corporal Most Scott, of the time, the, how, expensive, how expensive is that lock and where can people get them? You can get them in any of your you know, hardware stores. And like I said, my dad and I, we put it in about 10 minutes. Very simple. Um, and I, it's one of my favorite only because uh, it, it keeps him out, gives him uh, you know, a harder uh, time trying to break the door, and it's more noise. Corporal, what like about said, that you, window right next door? Wouldn't it be easier just to break the window and then unlock things? Absolutely. Now, the thing of it is, you've got you to remember, he doesn't know this is here. Okay. Right. So again, he's spending more time outside, and uh, I have a segment coming up about these windows here, probably in a few weeks, that we'll talk about some way to to make that safer. But uh, you're right; he doesn't know that's here. And again, once he does this, what's going on? The alarm is now he's ready to start exactly going, and he runs. He's still outside. He hasn't made entry into the house yet. Okay. So cool. that's right. what we want to do. So try that; it'll make you sleep a little safer at night. Thanks. Brilliant. All Thanks, right. Corporal. Yeah. We'll see you in a few weeks. Okay. Thank you, sir. Well, he's making tackle after tackle.